All right, guys, uh, we're on day 18, I believe. I'll check and fix the notes for the video if I'm wrong about the total number of days, but I think it's about number 18 for the bioreactors. And as you can see, I have removed the pipes. Dr. Johnson says you can remove the pipes and your holes will stay open in 24 hours. I tend to wait about a week or two at least uh, before I remove mine. And due to shifting pipe syndrome, I added a couple holes. You might ask how I do that. Well, you know, here's a, here's a hole that was added and there's a hole that came from the pipe. Not much different. So what I did is I took a two inch um, bowl bogger that has about a 30 inch reach and I went all the way to the bottom up and down with it a couple times and of course it's not going to stay nice and open so then you take something like a T-post and you just kind of do this with it and the reason I did that again I call it shifting pipe syndrome it seems whenever I build these with students we end up with my pipes all cattywampus um, and I've got a new way to prevent that from happening it's just going to involve knocking some rebar in the ground to hold them when we're building them but it is what it is anyway look at the fungi Oh, fungi forest going on there. We got different mushrooms popping up in different places. Uh, most of them look like those guys there, but there's some pure white ones as well. And I don't know what the heck those little guys are down in there. They're definitely something different. And uh, temperature wise, we're sitting at what? About 138 degrees. So here we are, almost 20 days. It's 18, 19, something like that days in. We're still at 130 degrees. Like I said, if you were using this as a heater, a heat source inside a greenhouse, you could build one about every three weeks. And maybe you would, uh, you know, go a little longer than three weeks because here we are almost, you know, 21 days. It'll be three weeks and we're still at 130 degrees. And remember, when you're trying to heat a greenhouse, you're not trying to make it a temperature that you want to hang out in necessarily uh, all the time. You just want to keep it from freezing. And there's another one of the holes I made. So anyway, if you can just keep the internal temperature above 32 uh, and get through your nights, your greenhouse will be good. I don't know how big of a greenhouse one of these would uh, suffice to keep up above in the temps. You know, maybe in your coldest part of the year, you build two of them every three weeks if you have the material and the space for it. But it's just an idea. I mean, I, obviously I don't do it, mine are outside, but uh, I'll keep you guys uh, abreast of this until we get all the way through the thermophilic cycle. Then there's not much to pay attention to. It's just gonna, you know, sit here for almost a year before we use it.